Well, it went down to the wire, and the Huskies hang on and hold off Colorado. 60 to 58 with Eddie House. Roxy Bernstein with you, where the Huskies built a 15 point second half lead, and Colorado had a chance to tie it at the end. Terrell Brown Jr., the Pac 12's leading scorer, tossed in 26. Yeah, and he was so efficient. He never was in a hurry. He got to his spot all night, 10 for 17 from the field. Such an efficient game. He got other guys involved as well, but he wanted to win this game bad, and you could tell all night he put his team on his back. His 11 20 point game of the season, but a comeback for the Buffs as they tried their best to get back into this game after a rough start to the second half. Jabari Walker leading the way again for Colorado, and Nick Clifford also had to contribute. Yeah, they did everything they can to claw back into this game. It was ugly for them in the second half, but Coach Boyle's team are going to fight to the end, and that's exactly what they did. They just came up a little bit short. Minus a couple of key rotation players, including Tristan De Silva tonight. This was the final sequence. After Terrell Brown Jr. missed two free throws, Colorado had a chance to tie. Yeah, they had a chance to tie, but again, great defense by Washington. They all night play really good defense, and think about it. The, buff, the Buffs got their guy, their best player, the ball where he wanted it. See his hand up, but Jamal Bay played picture perfect post defense don't allow him to get anywhere body him up and then keep your hands straight up don't lean over to get a foul secure the possession with the rebound and the dub and you dubs defense was terrific all night 16 steals they hold Colorado to 34 percent shooting and Emmett Matthews with a strong game his second double double this season at a couple of big threes for Washington Huskies have won four of their last five. 60 to 58, they knock off Colorado.